If you want to help people in Southampton who are homeless, there is a way to make a positive difference. Over 30 local charities, agencies and businesses have united together to tackle the issue. Join us in our vision for Southampton, a city where no one needs to sleep rough or beg. We believe they deserve better. Alongside the council, there are key charities in Southampton, like Society of St James, that help people who are homeless every day, keeping them safe, providing food and support, and finding ways to help rebuild their lives. We're going behind the doors of Society of St James today to hear Tom's story. I've been here for about, around about 13, 14 months, around about. The, the obvious ones, uh, you know, money for a deposit, furniture, the basics, getting used to paying responsibility, paying bills again, council tax, gas, electric, water, TV licence, all the rest of it, because you don't have that responsibility when you're in a, in a hostel or obviously when you're homeless. So it's, it's a huge challenge, you know, getting back into the, the, the real world, if you like, um, you know, getting back as a member, of, productive member of society. The longer you spend on the streets, the more your spirit suffers, you know. The more, the more you become unemployable because your your self-esteem suffers. You know, it, 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 it's all very well saying just get a job, but it doesn't happen like that. You need the basic, you know, the basic, um, um, the basic stuff first. And you know, when when people completely ignore you, um, it just chips away and damages that part of your self-esteem even further, and it makes it harder and harder to then become that productive, responsible member of society. You know, in accurate detail, I was, at, I was suicidal, I was heartbroken, I was absolutely desolate, I was absolutely at the, the end of my tether. And when I came for an interview here, the, uh, the overwhelming feeling that I got was that they actually cared, that they weren't here just here for a job. And that, that feeling, the sort of unseen buzz around the staff uh, has continued the time I've been here. That sense of um, being looked after um, has really been needed at this time in my life and for that I'll be forever grateful for the staff here. Join us in supporting people off the street. Everyone can help. Pledge your support on Street Support Southampton. They deserve better. <laughs>